So unless you've been living under a rock for the past week, you would know that Oda Block, the biggest content creator on RuneScape, has been permanently banned on his two main accounts, Bald and Omar, for having over 400 hours of account services on his account, which were found during the routine checks. Um, now, this outrageous crime was committed around two years ago, according to both Oda's communications and uh, Oda's communications with the Jax, and was found during routine checks. Now, I have routine checks in quotation marks because what what the fuck does routine checks even mean? Do they routinely check every single account for any possible infraction for up to two years ago? Do they only check Oda's account like routinely? Do they routinely check like a set of accounts that they're told to routinely check? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> Bro, if they routinely checked the entire player base, like the entire 150,000 players, I don't know what uh, the player base is at right now. But how many, if you take 10 RuneScape players right now, like 10 players from any servers right now, and put them, put them in a box, I guarantee you the amount of people who either have bought it on their account, in the, or you know, there might just be a bot. You might just straight up have taken a gold farmer bot. But the amount of people who have bought it on their account, auto-clicked on their account, done something ban worthy in the past two years, bro, I'd say it'd be maybe seven, eight out of 10 of that from these people. Um, I don't know what the fuck a routine check is. Now, before I go too deep into this, I want to explain my biases to you guys. Me and Oda are not friends by any means. I'm not making this video because, you know, he's my best friend. I want to, I want to defend him. Uh, we actually flame each other quite a lot. I do enjoy his stream and, you know, I'm not stupid. I have the utmost respect for his work and what he's managed to do for the, for the game and his time here. I've competed in a lot of his tournaments. He has done, I think no one can really deny he has done really good things for RuneScape. Um, and yesterday I was watching his stream, you know, lolling away because he's freaking out about being banned. And he called me out. He's like, uh, yo, Ditter, you know, you just fucking, you're a rat. You love all this drama, but you won't ever come out and say anything. And he's completely right. Um, <laughs> I have been loving all this drama, but 100% if I was the one in his position and I was the one banned unjustly, I would be creating the exact same fuss. Because getting perm banned like that is completely ridiculous and we all know it. So here we are. I'm going to talk about it, give you guys my honest thoughts, and make some money while doing it. It's tax season, guys, and you know what that means. It means Manscaped is here to make sure your paperwork is done and your boys downstairs are having some fun. Spend your tax return money on important things this year, such as your friends, your family, and your balls by using my code DITTER20 for 20% off and free shipping at manscaped.com. I've been using Manscaped for years for my balls, for my beard, and it's one of the best investments into yourself that you can make. The Lawnmower 4.0 trimmer will give you a precise shave on your Dragon Dagger, and the performance package includes a weed whacker and a nose hair trimmer, all of which come with skin safe technology, which are made to reduce nicks, snags, and tugs. Manscaped Avosa partnered up with the Testicular Cancer Society to bring awareness to the subject and men's health during this Testicular Cancer Awareness Month. So if there's any time to take care of your pair, now would be it. So get 20% off and free shipping with the code DITTER20 at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with the code DITTER20 at manscaped.com. Now, if you come on my streams and ask me about the situation, my answers have been pretty clear. I don't think he should have been banned and I do think he should be unbanned. And to be honest, a lot of the times I've been saying, I'm actually surprised that Jax haven't said anything yet because it's been a week. Um, I really think he would have been unbanned by now or at least a public statement would have come out from Jax addressing it. Um, I'm shocked there hasn't been any response. So I'll give you guys a quick timeline and then make some comparisons and just tell you basically what I know and what I think. Ever since the Duel Arena got removed from RuneScape, deathmatching has been a thing. It's been around, deathmatch CCs have been around, and right from on the release, or the removal of the Duel Arena, I should say, there was a big deathmatching CC, but it kept getting shut down because obviously they were just real board trading. Um, they were taking like commission on, they were taking commission on middlemans and stuff, and they kept getting banned with billions of GP, rightfully so, like they got banned, fair enough, you know, they should be. But somebody then has to take the mantle up and host a deathmatching CC, and along comes Stella. I don't want to speak too much about Stella's character, but there's enough information in Oda's videos and honestly in a lot of videos that basically it kind of explained the situation. But at the best case, she's a deathmatching streamer who scams a lot of debt and has RWT'd a lot, who now runs the deathmatching CC. And all she streams is gambling. She doesn't like stream any other like forms of content like PKing or anything. It's just deathmatching, but it's all in good fun, right? Um, I think most people with a brain at first glance can probably even tell that she uses the CC to RWT for her own profit. And in Oda's videos, he actually shows proof of her RWTing, like, as, as of recent of a couple of days ago, if I'm not mistaken. Um, however, she doesn't get banned and is free to stream on it every day and continue running the CC, which is where it gets real interesting because obviously the CC before her got banned, she didn't get banned, and now another CC comes into play. 
Um, I can speak this. I can speak to this myself because my viewers have come into my stream asking me for a different deathmatching CC or just like a trusted way to deathmatch. They've come into a bunch of other people's streams, and that's why Oda, who once again I'm not friends with, but BTCs and bikers who I am friends with, decided to team up and create a, the DM Watch deathmatching CC. They invited a bunch of streamers to it, including me, even though we're not friends, uh, just to make just to make a trustworthy place for people to deathmatch. And they even created a plugin to ensure people wouldn't get scammed. And within 24 hours of, of a competitor CC coming up, within 24 hours of a competitor CC coming up, Oda Block gets perm banned for routine checks. Routine checks. So let's just call it how it is. There are no routine checks. He was looked into directly and then these bans were placed. And let's just say for the sake of it, he did get his account serviced. Wouldn't a routine check pick that up routinely years ago as a part of its routine? Now be honest, I want you to think about you and every single RuneScape player you know. If they got routinely checked, how many of them would still be able to log in tomorrow? RWT, botting, services, these are all things that are heavily memed in the old school community because they're things that people just get away with and are very prevalent problems within the game. And more often than not, it is actually big content creators who end up being used as an example, while thousands, if not tens of thousands, go completely unpunished the majority of time. And in this case, Oda is being used as an example while Stella gets off scot-free. The funniest thing is this isn't even because he's a content creator who's actively breaking the rules, because he's not. If you watch the stream every day, he's not actively breaking the rules. Once again, this is a claim of something he allegedly did two years ago, which to be honest, I don't really think he did. Um, having account services is paying someone, like paying someone to do services on your account. Account sharing is completely fine. And from my understanding, dude, this guy has a lot of loyal viewers. I'm pretty sure his viewers just trained his account for him. Uh, which is allowed, which a lot of streamers do do. A lot of people play on accounts that aren't theirs, uh, have people train their accounts for them. That is perfectly fine. And he has come out and said himself that uh, he's had his viewers and like well, not his friends, his friends and viewers train accounts for him, but he has not paid for a service. So he really mostly got banned because he ran a competing deathmatching CC to Stella, which is where the problem lies. In his video, he talks about how this isn't the first time Stella has had someone at Jax look into and perm ban accounts on her behalf. And I also myself know this to be true. I know a couple of people who have been banned just for deathmatching in a competing CC. And bro, just look at this clip from West Ham stream. So this is from West Ham stream yesterday, but he actually says this clip is from months ago. Now, I don't know when it happens. He gets kicked from the CC. And then we can skip forward like a couple seconds. Kicked from the CC, account gone. So within the span of 13 seconds, this guy gets kicked from Stella's deathmatching CC. Don Dada is her deathmatching CC. And 13 seconds later, this guy gets perm banned off of RuneScape. Was, it, was this a routine check too? Because I think the routine is Stella decides who gets banned and then they get banned. I think that's the routine. Now, Oda's last video has given a ton of evidence between Stella and the Jmod she's worked with. And I'll link his video down below if you guys haven't seen it, but I assume you have. But I also wanted to show you guys that like what Oda is claiming isn't too far-fetched of an idea that he's being wrongly looked into and that's why all this is taking place. Something like this can happen and I feel like a lot of people have forgotten like stuff like this has happened before. There has been quite a few cases of some, su let's just say sus things happening with Jmods, whether it was obviously Mod Jeb with the whole rot thing. But something that I think a lot of people forget though, it was back in 2020, um, EVScape was hit with four permanent offenses to his account and the evidence was dating back years ago as well I don't know if this is another routine check. Well, obviously it wasn't um, I can't remember the full details of what happened But I remembered EVScape was trolling some JMods on Twitter and the next day he had four offenses on his account Now he like Oda made a, a video explaining his situation and the community got behind him and I think within four days uh, the, the offenses were quashed and he was free to go which is another reason why I'm so surprised they haven't said anything yet. Because to be honest, the Jmods and the community team we speak to on a day-to-day -day basis usually are like really good. They do care about the game a lot and they talk to the creators in quite a good way. And I understand these decisions aren't actually in their hands at all, but it does just beg the question of like, what is going on? Are they gonna give us a public response? What do the higher ups think? Cause they definitely, like they definitely know about it. They definitely hear it. There's been so much noise, but there's still been no response. It's very, very peculiar. So regardless what you think of Oda, Stella, or anyone in this situation, the facts are pretty clear as day to me, and I think to a lot of you guys as well. Even if Oda did have the account service two years ago, he should have been looked into and punished for it, like, 
over a year ago, dude. The evidence and the timing of that is too overwhelming. There's no fucking routine checks. Uh, maybe one or two things with the whole Stella and the J-Mod thing could be a coincidence. But when you have so many different instances dating back months, it's just not, it's not a coincidence. It's just, that's just facts. And I will leave the video with this. I don't like Udo. You might not like him, but he has done amazing things with this game and the people who watch it. And any other content creator in his position would do the exact same thing he's doing right now. I would do the same thing. You do the same thing. If, if this happened to us, we'd be doing the exact same thing. He's broken rules and been punished before, which he has admitted to, but this isn't anything like that. And it's been an entire week with no response where he hasn't been able to log on and stream RuneScape. I get why him and his community are going around and asking about it, creating a fuss, wanting to see what people's opinions on uh, opinions are and wanting content creators to speak out. Because if honestly, if it does get swept under the rug and there's no response whatsoever, it will set like a terrible future for the game and just how bans can be given out, I feel. And you'll also lose the biggest creator who no matter your personal opinions on him, does constantly and consistently show up and show up for the video game, no matter what type of content it is. Either unban Oda or routinely check the entire player base the way you've done him and ban tens of thousands of people. It is really that simple. I think Oda should be unbanned and the alleged corruption should be looked into when it's this many things stacked on top of each other. I don't really think that's such a crazy ask. Thank you guys for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe and hopefully we get a response soon because I know we're all waiting for one.